Hello, this is David Dean, and yes, they updated the weekly items for the um, store. We are going to go over in detail with the ghost pistol, and I will put a comment. I'll pin it to the top of when we start doing gameplay with this pistol, because we definitely want to get it and test it out. Um, really quick, looking through the rest of the store, where they got in here. Um, floor launchers. I am now doing the game with two, uh, two different floor launchers. One has a um, two, at least two recharges on it, and then the rest impacts for putting around the objective. Now, those won't do any damage if they fling the husk up high, but if you put um, on my second one five impacts on it, it will send the husk high enough into the air where they take some major damage when they fall back down. Um, Copper Nightclaw, halfway decent shotgun, nothing special in my opinion. Grizzly, I love. He's my number one guy right now for soloing, but I'm not sure if I'd get him at this rarity level. And then we got, <laughs> you can get your wooden stick, the Mighty Slugger. Not going to recommend that either. Um, gr uh, grenade Launcher, no. Special Forces Banshee, she's average soldier. I do like that her, do, do, actually go here, bonuses for the um, grenades. These do increase impact. If you want the increased damage for your grenades, there is a constructor, Isa, who has that. 8-bit um, demo, the constructor, demo, demolitionist, and he is actually pretty cool to have. I always have at least one of these, or at least one that has pre-planning on them. So if nothing else, when I go in to do building on my storm shield defense I can do that with a constructor in the main and then have this in support this when you get it up to three stars it's 10 percent and then you can do your building with the other main constructor at about 30 percent less cost which is awesome and this is what we care about this is what we want to get into a slow firing pistol that shoots ghostly projectiles that pass through walls and enemies so this gives a few questions about exactly how this works in the game. Does it also go through terrain? Does it go through um, player built walls, walls in the game? So we will definitely be purchasing that and we will be leveling up. And this time I'm just taking a little bit more time on this showing you everything because this is kind of a very special weapon. And let's see, get into this. All right, first of all, um, let's go ahead and favor it just so it doesn't disappear. Whoop, get back in here. And then I want to actually compare it to some other pistols before we level it up. So let's see. Doo -doo, it should stick out pretty well. And Oh, yeah, I favored it. And let's go ahead and compare that. Did I do? -do. Here is the new pistol, the last word that just came out. So when comparing the two... Um, let's see, last word, a little bit more damage, a lot more headshot damage, but, um, fire rate is more than double. Range, though, this is a great range pistol. I think this is about the longest range of any pistol in the game. So that is huge. Mainly, I might end up using this with defenders, and that becomes even a bigger, um, deal. And for impact, both of them are kind of decent. Yeah, but overall, the last word, better stats on it. This one is using um, heavy bullets, and which unfortunately, that's the same thing that my obliterators use, which means I'm not sure if I'll be having too many of those. But let's go see to do what we got for the perks, because this is what makes a big difference. It starts off, you get no choice. Energy, which some people are going to be upset about, but I'm kind of happy because I always do them energy anyway. So this just saves me having to re-perk that. Um, let's see. Get a bunch of different choices here. This is nice. Crit rating, crit damage, fire rate, reload. Let's see what else. Stability, duration, reload. Not too good on that one. Crit rating, crit damage, damage, damage to miss monster. Here, uh, I would... I hate it when they have this selection on the fifth perk because really nothing too much here. 
and I hate that they put this perk on it. Damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for 6 seconds. Um, to me, that kind of forces the other one here, but fortunately I already have that. Damage to slow and snared. Um, let's see. So, the question becomes, do I want a crit build or a straight out damage build? And actually, to do, what does it start off with, I guess I should look at? 15% 75. I'm going to be using this with my Ranger Outlander, Beetle Jess. Which means she's got already an increase with the crit rating, crit damage. And I kind of want to keep it going along that range. And even with no crit rating on this, I can get this up to, I believe, 51%. So, I'm going to keep this as it is for right now. And if I am getting it up to 51%, then I'll come back and change it to two crit damage perks on it. And this thing can be really a killer. Here, reload, weapon stability, or durability. You might as well stick with reload. It's not the greatest perk. But there really isn't anything else I want to put on it anyway. So, let's go... Can I... Ooh... That is messed up. It's not giving me anything for... To do usually... Ah. What is it we got? 10. Okay. Thought it usually listed it out down here. But we are going to go ahead and up some of these. And why not? Let's see. Sorry. We're going to head back over. We're going to get into Heroes. Change this over to what I think is the best skin in the entire game, which is Beetle Jess. And then we are going to put her with... Do, where is Rio? Rio. So now I'm up... Um, this one, she has a perk that gives eight, uh, 18 to crit rating. And she also has 18 to crit rating. And they do stack on each other. I did check that out. Um, there's nothing really good for me to put in this last one. So I'm just going to keep it with Commando with the 5 Teddy. But let's go back now and take a look at that beautiful ghost gun we got. So now you see we got it up to with that change from 15% up to 46.5. So that is Pretty darn good. Let's see. Modify perks. Let's go ahead and make that even further. We will do the crit rating. Just give it a little bit more. And why didn't it jump up yet? It should here in a sec. And let's see. I really want to be having fun. I'm not worried about reload speed, so we're not going to add anything to that right now. And do we got enough to keep going? To the ones that I really care about. And damage to slowed or snared. Since we are snaring them here. You might as well. And let's see. Oh, nope. That's all we're going. Alright, so take it back. And back. And now let's start leveling it up. To do my bad. Alright, getting ahead of myself. It's been a long day. I did my video. My face reveal video. Uh, it's Seems like people enjoyed it, which makes me happy. And now we are up to 57.5%. So more than every other shot. That is awesome. And we're going to have fun with that. But like I said, we need to test it out. Just see how good it is for shooting through walls and stuff. This will not be the most damage um, pistol in the game. Anywhere close to it. But it should be one of the funnest ones. And as I said, it might be something you want your defenders to use in the future. All right. But yeah, give me your comments on the face reveal. And um, do you think I should be using a, fa a face cam when doing these videos and doing streaming? Or should I just keep it as is? Whoa, this thing keeps bouncing all over the place. And since this is going to be used by my defenders, hopefully, I am not going to take it to 5 star. Um, I just don't feel like chasing down material for it constantly. So let's hop into a level 100. 
and I'm not going to worry about really finishing the mission. Do, do. Actually, we can have fun with the survivors. Um, you already saw my hero set up. I got going in there. Beetle Jess Rio for the double crit bonus. She also has bonuses for crit damage and for just pure damage. And if you've never played the Outlander Ranger, I definitely recommend it. Um, using Being able to do tons of weapon damage is awesome. And then you put on top of that being able to do the phase shift to scoot around the map real fast. Um, it is just awesome. <laughs> ah, today is a good day. No, but also let me know what else you want to be seeing on this channel. I need to be getting more videos out, whether it is weapon videos, trap videos, um, just videos of me completing missions, whether solo, on team. Um, the strength of my channel really is from the feedback everybody um, gives who supports this channel. And then me building off of that feedback. So I definitely want to keep that going. And keep this thing keep this thing growing even more. I cannot believe how far we've gotten. Alright, so let's see what we got to do. Here we go. So let's go. Oh! Didn't we have did I just skip over the confirmation screen? Which isn't too bad. As I said, I'm probably gonna be using this on defenders. I did the same thing on purpose with my obliterator because I got tons of obsidian. So, I may keep it this way. Do, do, let's put her in there. And first, let's see. It does damage to the wall. Do, do. And, yep, you can see it's doing crack. So, yeah, it shoots through player-built walls, so you can go ahead. And, let's see. Wake up. Wow, there was delay on that. Am I getting that bad of lag? And let's see. Ooh, not the fastest firing thing. Down you go. I should, though, be using more of the snare since I know the first one I hit is slowed and going over and hitting the next one. I also want to take on some higher level husk. But let's wake these guys up. Down you go. Whoa. Where'd you come from? Ooh, this is going to get some getting used to on this weapon. Slow down, big boy. Yeah, I do not. I may have to go back and increase the rate of fire. That is definitely a negative on this thing, as is. I do like the graphic of it kicking the six bullets out and reloading. But that graphic isn't enough to keep it as is. And Oh, shoot. I did not change. Oh, yeah. I was getting upset because I didn't change out my um, to do defenders. But you no longer change out defenders in this game. Come on. Oh, now decent damage. Not too bad. Down he goes. Yeah, you're slow. Boom, baby! You're out of here. But that isn't what I wanted. What I wanted is to check out. And we'll, we'll make four of those. We will go ahead, and let's see, we'll do it like this. This is the real test for it. So for all the people who did not get the obliterator, this is an amazing way you can do it. Unfortunately, I don't have too many pistoliers leveled up. But we got one there to do, and yeah, then we go down to the basement. But still, this is just a test. And one more. So we got level 100 husk versus level 15 defender. 
Who will win? Hey, that was not what I clicked on. Whoa, those ghost bullets look awesome, though. All right. So here comes our contestants. Um, you guys going to fire? Oh, it's not like the obliterator. So they can shoot through walls, but they can't see through walls. And yeah, I'm out of ammo. So we got the teddy. So no, you cannot use this like the obliterator. Ah, oh, that's messed up. What? What happened? Lag. Serious lag. What is going on? So, ooh, that that kind of hurts. Um, it is a decent pistol. It is great that I can shoot through walls. But, and even the defenders can shoot through walls, but they can't see through the walls like they can with the obliterator. And hopefully they didn't change the obliterator. Let me check that out, because if they change that, life's just ugly. So, just checking this out on the fly, just in case. Come on, you guys, stop jumping in front of me while I'm trying to build. Alright, so we got obliterator in there. We're going to check this out nice and quick. Thought I saw some, but... Ah, oh, man. Well, that should trigger the obliterator. Should be close enough. Or maybe not. Not cool. D -do. So, all we got to do... Come on, hurry up. Hopefully it doesn't get blown up by them spawning up here. Yeah, see the blit the sniper can see them through the walls. And let's see, we got another pistol here. Do, do confirm. He can shoot through the walls, but he can't see through the walls. So, not like the obliterator on that aspect. Aw, did you hear that? We're the best. I don't know how I was the best on that. But, okay. <laughs> uh, see, this is why I take the bullets for you guys. Testing this thing out. Seeing the good, the bad, the ugly. Boom! Come on with your little friends. I'm trying to see the aspect of it going through multiple ones of these. But it's kind of hard to do while you're shooting and somebody's trying to get you with bees. Alright, let's regroup. Do, do, get some more health. Go away. And there, I just took out the um, first one, and then I also took out the beehive one. So there, that is awesome. Uh, mainly if you're doing trap tunnels, you can just sit there firing down the trap tunnel, taking out several husks at once. Um, overall, for a review of this weapon, very cool. Um, I love the piercing effect. Um, I love the fact that the look of it and the bullets from it has that ghostly effect. But the fact that the defenders can't see through the walls like they can through the, with the obliterator kind of makes it worthless for the defenders to have. I'm still going to go back to using the obliterator if I have a choice. Oh, left this poor guy up here. Let's see. Now another big thing would be the hush shield. Yeah, you can shoot through that shield. So I may need to keep this mainly on a ranger type. So now I have something that can go through the husky or the riot shielders. And actually it went through them pretty well because I'm also snaring them and slowing them down. Uh, I was hoping some more riot shielders would be over here. So to me this is not my main weapon to use with my ranger. It is a backup weapon for when there is the riot shielder husk. And besides that, I probably won't be using it hardly ever. So, <laughs> so if you want a pistol that is specifically designed to take out 
the Riot Shielder Husk, this is the one for you. And I also want to check out Dome Shielders. But let's, let's do a quick run around and see if I can find any. Do, do. Okay. Just really quick on the fly. I doubt we'll find some wandering around here. Do, do. Oh no, somebody's in danger. We'll let Teddy save him. Oh, shoot. We didn't want Teddy because we got shield. Wish I could take... Ah. Yeah, get away from Teddy. You guys are annoying. I hate ads. All right. There, he picked him up. Zoom away. Ooh, that was nice. Yep, so we're going through the shield. This thing definitely has a place in the game. And now I got... Come on. There we go. We're just going to clear it all out. Because we got shielders. I'm... That... Go away. All right. Not my best gameplay. <laughs> Where did Smasher go? I cannot believe she's still alive. Let me just kill everything that was going after her and we can take care of that. Yeah! Down you go, Smasher. <laughs> so, okay. I was beginning to not like this pistol. But for my um, Ranger who specializes in pistols, she doesn't have anything else. At least on this character for our, that I've leveled up, because there are other pistols in the game that do piercing. Woohoo! I love phase shift. It gets me out of so much trouble. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for focusing... Jeez. It does feel like something is off with the shots, like they're almost delayed. Oh, it fires slow. So that is another thing. Since it's ghostly, you see how long it takes? It's not shooting out like a bullet. Yeah, I should have caught on to that a lot earlier. But hey, trying to take it all in. <laughs> Look, ah, I love the graphic for it, but man, the delay does hurt. But even with the delay, it fills a need as far as getting through shields and getting through the rioters thing the rioter shield come on hey what are you doing up here not much knockback though yeah there again i was shooting through one hus to get to the um to do blaster and yay but yeah I'm going to say definitely recommend this if you enjoy playing um, the Ranger or pretty much any character and you want a weapon that can specialize in taking out the shielders. There's a few different weapons in the game you can do that with, but this is definitely a nice one. Um, it is really annoying, the slow moving bullets. Boom. Click. Boom. Click. Boom. <laughs> yeah, that takes a little getting used to, but nah, still, I am glad I leveled it up. I probably will be using it in the future and kind of keeping it as a secondary weapon to take care of those problem husks. Um, that's my comments on it. I really look forward to hearing your comments and how you think it should be set up as far as perks. Um, to, to go to stats. So using it with the Ranger. What is going on? Oh, these guys will follow you all around the map. We'll just clear everything out. Let Teddy do his job. Let the turret. And we'll talk like adults. All right. So um, I'm up to 57.5% with just the one crit rating in there. My crit damage at 280% with the one crit damage perk. So overall, not too bad. Do, do. 
Still getting used to that slow firing. All right. Cleared it all out, looking good. Um, I'm not sure if this is a set perk or not. I am really worried the sixth perk might be, sixth perk might be a set perk, but I'll have to check out other videos. And man, the hits just keep on coming. Um, you guys take care. Have a great day. Ghost pistol. Um, I say it's a must-have as a secondary pistol in the game. That's my thoughts. Enjoy.